welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I passed fundamentals. Yes, thank you. That's why I haven't been posting videos because this semester was so stressful. And it's like, not only did I have to pass the lecture, but you also have to pass lab. And then you gotta pass, where, where is it? ATI. All my nursing students, y'all know ATI will have you crying, pulling your hair out. It's just, it's ridiculous. You already have to have an 80%, nothing below an 80, maybe 78% in the class. You have to pass the lecture and like I said, then you gotta do this ATI fundamentals. But you guys, if I got past it, you can get past it too, I swear. Um, it was difficult, but I actually had fun. This is my first time um, going to an actual clinical site, meaning I went to a hospital. I actually engaged with patients, like real people. Last semester, we just had to had to go into the, um, what is it called? The simulation lab. You know, you have the dummies and you're like, excuse me, sir. Um, I'm going to do a head to toe assessment. Like, no, I was actually engaging with patients this semester so that was kind of cool um so I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown on my experience I don't really know if it's gonna be tips or however you want to take it if you guys have questions with ATI I passed ATI with a 95 93 which is pretty which is pretty good I just want to say that's pretty good I actually sur surprised myself um if you guys have questions on ATI I watched Kathy Parks video Kathy parks whatever video and so she went through the whole ATI book and she pretty much if you see oh wait there's not much highlight but she highlighted the key stuff in which you need to know for the ATI because it's a lot to read and some of this stuff she kind of just like focuses on okay so let me tell you guys about so what did I learn in fundamentals? Let's see. I had to get tested out on skills. So we tested out on hand washing, of course. Uh, sterile gloving, Foley catheter insertion. Um, we got tested out on IV. We got tested out on um, um, IM injections, um, subcutaneous injections, and then also intradermal in injection. So um, we had to learn all that. I'm trying to think what else oh trait care we learned how to do the trait care and um sanctioning traits which is that's gonna be um i can deal with people's bodily fluids i can deal with blood i can deal with urine i can deal with feces but something with like suctioning and them just like i'm gonna I'm have to work on that because sputum is just disgusting um, so yeah, we learned all those skills first in the classroom and then we had to, um, test out on it in front of the instructor or the TA. And so you guys know sterile feel, that was like the hardest thing for me because you have to keep your hands above your waist. You can't, uh, turn your back, you know, the way you insert your gloves, you, you can't touch the outside. It was just, I really had to sit here and practice and don't have nails these are my i'm on spring break nails but no do not have nails when you're in class you need your little grippies to be like on point especially when you're giving injections and when you're putting on sterile gloving and it's just hard it's already hard to put on gloves i feel like it's hard for me because i got long ass fingers but yeah no no nails don't do nails get it on your break like me uh -huh. fleek anyways so um let me so my first clinical site was at a skiff which is like a skilled nursing facility so it's pretty much like older adults and um so which is kind of funny we we're all excited to go to clinicals this is our first clinical in our um cohort so i'm like yeah man i'm gonna be giving ivs i'm gonna be giving shots i'm gonna be bruh i didn't do none of that <laughs> Which is cool because I was nervous anyways. I was nervous. But really, pretty much all we did was we helped with ADLs, you know, assisted daily living, things like that. Feeding, 
Um, some people were able to do wound care on some of the patients, but this is our first clinical site. So they're kind of just like, here, like giving us little baby steps. Like, okay, you guys can crawl. We were with most of the times the CNA is helping them like, um, transferring patients and, um, helping them clean and do whatever. I kind of felt like I was in the way. If that makes sense like clinicals the the atmosphere was cool the cna that i worked with that i was paired up with she was cool as hell but it's like the lvns and the rn the lvns and the rns it seemed like if i asked them a question about the the status of a patient or the ways that they were doing things it like irritated them they're like like <sighs> so who saw on that i don't know why maybe it was just the place that we were at and the nurse that you know was helping us out it's like she had an attitude and it's like why I'm just I'm just trying to learn she's probably just trying to get through her patience so I don't know whatever the case may be for the most part I enjoyed my first clinical um site uh, like I said with the nails thing they're really strict on your grooming standards so no nails no heavy makeup um, your tattoos. I have one tattoo right here, which is, it looks like a water bug. <laughs> I got this when I was like 16, but it's actually a black widow spider. It looks cooler when you hold it down. I'm gonna get that covered. But anyways, if no tattoos showing, um, your nose, I have piercings. So nose ring, I had to get a clear nose ring. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't want to get too close. I might have like a booger or something, but I still kept it in. It's clear. It kind of looks Y'all, yeah, it's clear. And I just kind of kept it in. The light is making it look like it's a diamond, but I got a clear nose ring. And so, yeah, I'm excited for this next semester that I start um, Monday. Dang, I start Monday. I've been off for a week. Okay, so the next semester is going to be Jero. It's going to be Life Cycle and it's going to be um, something else. But this clinical site, I'm gonna be able to like do stuff like IVs and you know, feedings and <sighs> so I did. Ah! So thank you guys for watching my channel. Stay tuned, subscribe, whatever you say that's cool, that makes people wanna watch whatever you're doing. Alright, see ya.